And did you see Thunderbolt 4 for Chromebooks? Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Toyota champs and yes here it is the 11th gen CPUs from Intel for gaming laptops or ultra thin gaming laptops there's more to come there's more there actually is an 8 core version as you can see here these are 4 core versions up here there will be an 8 core version later on in the year but there's a specific SKUs we'll get into that in a sec and make sure you sub up because we've got more CES coverage to come we've got AMD to come I've got a video on Lenovo's laptops as well so make sure you sub up stay tuned but let's get into these Intel CPUs and we'll go straight to the top here and let's have a look 11th generation core h35 series processors for ultra portable gaming so that's the thing here now you know they're not going to compete with the amd in terms of multi-core because you can only get four cores but you can see sort of where it sits in the segment here right ultra portable gaming so like 16 millimeter gaming laptops this is what this is for this isn't the eight core 45 watts that are probably going to come later in the year whether they will be 35 watts we don't quite know yet but these ones are 35 watts and the thing is intel are the best in sort of laptops for gaming right it might not be true in a few hours when amd released the 5000 series but certainly in terms of 1080p gaming you know intel was still better than amd even the 4000 series multi-core and other stuff it's a different story but for just simple gaming yes they were still better so these are four cores now as you can see it's right up there in the ultra portable category it's a new category i already thought we had ultra portable category but whatever this is a new one according to intel and look it's at the pricey end too right so you can see there it's up in around over a thousand dollars so it's going to be expensive but if you want really thin portable gaming maybe worth waiting for what else can we see here up to five gigahertz so that's good game anywhere good performance best balance between mobile and enthusiast optimized performance platform latest architecture because this is indeed based on sunny cove and there is a special edition cpu we'll get to that in a sec but we can see here some of the things right it's based on 10 nanometer super thin cpu so this is a 10 nanometer part right so it's basically like the 11th generation cpus but really cranked up to the max we're talking like the 1165 g7 etc there will be a 14 nanometer part later in the year as i said they're going to be you know up to eight cores but five gigahertz that's pretty good we're getting extra performance here two times the graphics performance over the h processors the previous version 10th gen that's easy to do lpddr4x so that's good the laptop should have better battery life thunderbolt 4 built in and pci express gen 4 directly connected to the cpu we'll have to wait to see who's going to implement it like for storage for pci express 4.0 laptops as thin as 16 millimeters this is the ultra ultra portable gaming just bear in mind this is not the normal traditional 45 watt which we expect later on in the year but battery life 14 inch 15 inch laptops with good battery life and yeah you can see all the partners there and what they've done for gaming etc and there you can see there look on the right hand side there it is faster than the 10980hk in single core and this is more important for gaming right i still i think they're going to come up on top in gaming i even think their desktop if you want to know about their desktop cpus that they announced i think they're going to come on top for gaming you know now between intel and amd there's no difference for gaming but with the latest desktop announcements they're not going to touch amd for multi-core but i think they're probably going to get the gaming crown again so here are the excuse we're talking about yeah i can't wait to get one of these laptops in it's supposed to be around sort of march april sort of area there and it looks like the 14 nanometer eight core versions they're going to be like later in the year they said so i wouldn't be holding my breath for those ones so it's going to be a while before they come out and of course these laptops that have this will be paired with the latest nvidia graphics which they couldn't show benchmarks but after nvidia have their keynote they will be able to show the benchmarks there so the latest wi-fi 6 as well i'll just show you something else in regards to these here we can sort of see a diagram of the cpu on the bottom right hand corner and as you can see that thunderbolt is built into the cpu and pci express 4 built into that and then you can see all the other connections how it is it can be configured 28 watts to 35 watts so here's all the features and benefits if you want to take a screen grab of that nothing really stands out other than for me the 8k 60 decode and 8k 30 encode with the avi decode and scc so that is basically the intel xe graphics there 
you know you're going to get good performance there that's going to help with you know content creation and stuff like that they actually showed a content creation laptop it was beating like the amd system for content creation in premiere in one of their you know cherry picked renders so yeah these things look all right the honest truth is only time will tell if they're any good we'll soon find out i suspect they're going to be very good at gaming but um yeah they're not going to be amd at multi-core so anyway catch you in the next one tally ho